Every country in the world wants energy security, wants to create jobs and promote sustainable prosperity, and wants to encourage its young people to build skills and plan for the future. And these days, every country also wants to do this while reaching their climate goals. So their young people actually have a future worth planning for. Investing in nuclear power allows a country to work on all of these factors at once, as many governments are realizing. The United Arab Emirates is a compelling case study because it has ambitious climate goals. It's the first country in the region to build a nuclear power plant, and it is growing a domestic nuclear industry from scratch. The United Arab Emirates is home to around 9 million people and has grown fast over the last few decades, leading to increasing energy needs. The desert state is traditionally an economy powered by oil and gas, but has now pledged to reduce its carbon emissions to net zero by 2050. The UAE is currently the seventh largest carbon dioxide emitter per capita, but is hoping to become a climate leader, being the first country in the Middle East to develop a pathway to net zero and hosting the UN's climate change conference in 2023. We're on a journey to net zero. The UAE is already in the transition and is going towards a more greener and sustainable economy. The country has built the world's largest solar power plant at Al Dafra and is in the process of turning on the last of four large reactors at Baraka Nuclear Energy Plant. Construction for Baraka began in 2012 and the first reactor was switched on in 2020. Baraka Nuclear Energy Plant really aims to supply up to 25% of the UAE's electricity needs once it's fully operational. And uh, when it will be operational, it will prevent up to 21 million tons of carbon emissions every year. And this is basically like removing 4.8 million cars from the roads. My name is Jawahar Blushi. I'm 29. I am a senior reactor operator here at Baraka Nuclear Energy Plant. So why nuclear? Our country's goal was to provide clean, reliable energy, and nuclear was the answer for that question. Nuclear energy provides a baseload technology that is clean, and it helps the UAE also to expand its renewable portfolio, but also to strengthen our reliability in the grid. The UAE is operating advanced pressurized water nuclear reactors, adapted to suit the climatic conditions of the country. The more you learn about nuclear energy, the more you trust it. We have the most advanced technology when it's come to operating safely and reliable. By 2022, Baraka was supplying 50% of the Emirate of Abu Dhabi's clean electricity. But back in 2008, when the UAE first decided to launch its nuclear power program, it needed not only to build the physical infrastructure, but also an entire domestic knowledge base. Baraka has more than 3,000 employees from 50 countries and is in the midst of a significant capacity building exercise, transferring industry knowledge from international experts to locals. So the nuclear power and uh, Baraka nuclear power plant, they play a major role in uh, the future of energy in the UAE. That being with a prime initiative to achieve net zero by 2050. And uh, not only on the energy side of the power supply, but also in, in training and enabling uh, the, the youth in, in the UAE to be the future leaders for in the energy sector. The UAE's Energy Pioneers Programme works to attract Emirati science students to a career in nuclear science and technology. By doing my PhD in nuclear engineering, I'm able to combine my passion 
for scientific research and my commitment to sustainable energy in one. As a young person, I really do think a lot about the climate crisis and it's now our job to stand forward and try to help mitigate these issues. And that's why I've chosen to pursue a career in uh, nuclear engineering because I truly believe that it's very important in the energy mix. So far, more than 500 people have gone through the program and over 20% of them are young women. Here in the UAE, it's really important uh, for women to take part of the uh, nuclear development. Since we've started as a, a newcomer country, so it's really a good opportunity to start from now, from the beginning. So here in the UAE, 20% of the workforce are females. So you will find this in every field and every role. Again, a very high number of females here in the industry means that we are all can support each other. If a young woman is interested in the nuclear sector here in the UAE, I would definitely say for her, please go ahead. You have a lot of opportunities and uh, we should always have uh, this uh, diversification of genders because it is needed for uh, more innovative solutions and for a better working environment. Young people like to have a job they're passionate about. They like to pursue a career that they feel they're contributing to society and addressing society's issues and, and challenges. If you want young people to study STEM, we should inspire them. Our nuclear energy program advances the intellectual wealth of the nation. It inspires our young people to be the clean energy leaders of the future. What incredible benefit that is.